Hello everyone. Today is Saturday, October 12th, 2019. And um, today I wanted to, since you guys know I have a podcast that I now have control of since um, everybody else is gone, I thought that I would uh, run things my own way. And uh, I was thinking that instead of having everything on Anchor so that in Spotify and that people who don't know about my podcast get listened to it or don't know how to go or where to go to listen to it, then um, I'm thinking about streaming or recording a podcast or one of my episodes here on YouTube so that you guys get a gist of what I do. Anyway, so Saturday episodes are mainly going to talk about football. Um, comment down below, everybody, what your favorite football team is. Sadly, I'm a Giants fan. We just got our asses kicked in against the, the Patriots last week on Thursday. Um, basically, what I do is I'm going to be talking about all the games going on this week. And what I predict the game of the week is going to be. And what game I think is going to be the highest scoring and the most competitive. That being said, let's talk about the first matchup of the week. Technically, it was the Giants and the Patriots, but uh, that game already happened. So, the first matchup of the week is the Panthers and the Buccaneers at 9.30 in the morning Eastern Time here in the States. They're playing in Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London, where the where Tottenham plays with Kerry Kane. And, um, honestly, I think that might be a high-scoring game. I know Jameis Winston has Mike Evans and Chris Godwin to throw the ball to. And Kyle Allen is playing for Carolina still, because I think Cam Newton's still hurt. Um, let me check the standings here for a second. Carolina has really been, has really been picked up ever since Kyle, Kyle Allen came in. Um, let me double check that for a second. Carolina's 3-2. and two. Tampa Bay is two and three. Whoever wins this game takes. Uh, if Tampa Bay wins, they're tied with Carolina for second place in the NFC South. And if Carolina wins, they have a two game. They have a two game lead over Tampa Bay, and they're a half game back of New Orleans for first. Um, Jameis Winston sometimes he doesn't really like perform well. And those, uh, he doesn't perform well sometimes in the games that he plays. Kind of like, don't really know much about Jameis Winston, let me be honest with you. All I know is that we kicked their fucking ass week two. Or what, what was it? It, was, it was either week two or week three. We played Tampa Bay. Um, no, it was week three. We won 32-31, Danny Dimes, NFL debut, and we kicked their ass 32-31. Um, hmm. To be honest, um, I don't know why we have sports. We have, we, I don't know why we have football in London. It's an American game. I, I kind of hate it, to be honest with you. They have the games out at 9.30 in the morning. So if you're, like, on the West Coast, there's no chance in how you're watching it. I, I, I don't think you're getting up at 6.30 in the morning to watch a football game. That's just me, though. Tomorrow, we're going to be have we're going to be having football on from 9.30 in the morning until pretty much 11 o'clock at night. That's lit. Um, I think I'm going to give that game to... Hmm... I'm going to give that game to Tampa Bay. I'll give it to Tampa Bay. Um, game number two. The first game out at 1 o'clock on Fox. The Seattle Seahawks are in Cleveland to take on the Browns. Um, I think that game... Honestly, if Baker Mayfield can... Uh, if Baker Mayfield can actually be on point on Sunday, honestly, I think that... That game's going to Cleveland, and I think that's going to be the highest scoring game of the week. 
Chris Carson is unstoppable for Seattle. But but then yet again, so is um what's that guy's name? I forget what his name was. I have him on my fantasy team. So is um Oh my god, I'm drawing a blank. What the fuck is wrong with me? I'm drawing a blank. What's his name? Oh my god. Um The running back for Cleveland. The running back for Cleveland. I have him on my fantasy team. I should know who the hell he is. Jesus. Um, Death Chart. What's his name? Nick Chubb. Jeez. Yeah, um, Chris Carson. I'm talking about fantasy. Chris Carson puts up at least 20 points a game. He's been, he's been, he's been, uh, he's been doing pretty decent the last couple weeks, Chris Carson. He's putting up 20 points, uh, last week and the week before that. And Nick Chubb just has gone off. I mean, they lost 31-3. To San Francisco, but San Francisco is a good, a good team, and and I'll talk more about them uh, coming up later. But right now, um, I think that game is going Cleveland. To be honest with you, um, yeah, on to the next one: Houston and Kansas City. I think that's going to be a high-scoring game too. Deshaun Watkins and DeAndre Hopkins. With J.J. Watt going up against Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes, and uh, Sammy Watkins. I think that's going to be a good game. I think uh, Pat Mahomes is going to do what he always does and put balls in the end zone. But I think Deshaun Watson is going to do the same thing with DeAndre Hopkins and Will Fuller. I think that game, honestly... Um, it's kind of a toss up. It's really it's two very good teams. I'm going Kansas City in this one. I hate it because I'm biased because I love Kansas City. Miami and Washington, two teams that suck ass. Oh my god, two teams that the Giants could kick the shit out of. I mean, we kicked the shit out of Washington last week. And Miami, we play them week 15 of December. So, um, honestly, I think Miami's gonna get their first win. I think Miami's gonna. I think Miami's gonna win. I I want them to win so bad. That'd be awesome. Who's playing? Who's playing quarterback for them? Freaking Rosen, Rosen, Fitzpatrick, one of them. I have no clue who's playing quarterback for them. To be honest, who do they even have? Who do they have playing quarterback? I keep switching hands because my hands keeps getting freaking tired. Um, who the hell do they have quarterback? Who the hell they got? Josh Rosen. They have. Ricardo Lewis on the IR. Jakeem Grant is questionable. Kalen Ballage is questionable. Albert Wilson is questionable. Jesse Davis is questionable. Danny Isadora and Julian Davenport is, is on the IR. Oh, my God. You, oh, my God. You look at this, Miami ro- at this Miami roster, this Miami Dolphins death chart, and half the fucking team is injured. Oh my god. I mean, I'm not going to take back what I said. I still think Miami's going to take their first W, but I don't know. I mean, because if you can, if you're the the Redskins, your team is in a tough spot right now. Like, Jake Gruden can't get his shit together. Um, Why is it when I go recording on YouTube, I completely, like, draw a mind blank on everything? What the hell? Um, Dwayne Haskins. His first game, he throws three picks. Like, really? You can't prove yourself throwing three picks in a game. Minnesota and Philly. Minnesota and Philly. Actually, no. Uh, The Giants beat Washington's ass two weeks ago. My bad. Freaking all y'all got to correct me in the comment section. Um, Philly and Minnesota. Kirk Cousins, Carson Wentz, Alshon Jeffrey, Zach Ertz. Adam Thielen, and Stephon Diggs, and Dalvin Cook. Um, hmm. Who am I picking for that one? Who would you guys pick? Um, if someone could keep tally of how many scores I get right, that'd be nice. Although I don't ask for that when I do my podcast, but, uh, since this is YouTube, I can say whatever the hell I, I can do whatever the hell I want to do. So yeah, y'all, someone keep track of that. Um, 
I got a notification on my phone, so I'm not even looking at it. Um, I think Philly's going to take that game. I think Philly's going to take that game against Minnesota. Minnesota's defense is fucking stacked. I'll give them that. But so is Philly's. Minnesota's defense is stacked, but so is Philly. Um, I think Minnesota has a better offense, but they have a worse quarterback. Kirk Cousins sucks. Carson Wentz, eh. I don't think he's proven that much yet. He gets hurt way too much. I stay away from him on fantasy. Um, one o'clock game: New Orleans and Jacksonville. Minshew Magic versus Teddy Bridgewater. I'm going up. Uh, I'm gonna go. This is my upset of the week. I'm going Jacksonville. All over. I'm going Jacksonville over New Orleans. I'm going Jacksonville. That's my upset of the week. Minshew and Allen Robinson. As you know, Allen Robinson, she's still on uh, Chicago. I really, I'm sorry for not knowing my facts right now, guys. I'm freaking, uh, apparently I'm a rookie to this. Um, D.D. Westbrook, Marcus Lee, D.J. Clark Jr., Keenan Cole, Chris Conley, C.J. Board, Minshew, Leonard Fournette, Cam Robinson, Andrew Norwell, Brandon Linder, A.J. Cannon, and Jawan Taylor. Don't sleep on Yannick and Kalias Campbell. Don't sleep and Miles Jack. Don't sleep on and AJ Boyer. Their defense is still, their defense is still decent. They're two and three. They're probably they're probably a better team than the Giants are. Let's be real. But um, I think they're gonna take um, they're gonna take that game against New Orleans this week. I'm gonna um, hmm. If if Jacksonville doesn't win, I will let. I'm gonna try to pick one of my friends who's gonna make me um, tweet something stupid or put something stupid on my story. I will make Jacob Oshevsky. Yes, I'm talking to you, Jacob. Looking at this, watching this, I'm talking to you. If the Jacksonville Jaguars do not beat the New Orleans Saints tomorrow, I will post something on my Instagram story or my Twitter that is completely something that I would not say. Something that I will let you. I will tweet something that you tell me to tweet. Pretty much. Bottom line. End of story. Go. Moving on. The last one o'clock game is Cincinnati and Baltimore. Cincinnati sucks hands down. Sorry to my to, to my coworker Mike from the from Huckman's Wayland. I'm sorry, buddy, but uh, Cincinnati's terrible. Just gonna point that out. Um, Lamar Jackson's gonna run circles over them. I think that uh, Baltimore's gonna take that one. Um, L. A. and San Francisco. That's gonna be a good game. The ra- they're in L. A. too. The undefeated 49ers. Who just kicked the shit out of Cleveland last week, thirty-one to three, are going on to play L.A. in L.A. <clears throat> Jerry, Jared Goff against Jimmy Garoppolo. The loaded San Francisco defense against the loaded Los Angeles Rams offense. Hmm. I don't know if you want to count this as an upset, but I'm going L.A. I'm going to take L.A. over San Francisco. Jimmy Garoppolo and Austin Hooper against Jared Goff and um, Cooper Cup. Atlanta and Arizona. I'm going to go another upset. I'm going to say Kylo Murray gets his first win next week. Wait, did they win yet? Did they win yet? Let me correct myself if they haven't. No, they tied somebody, didn't they? Arizona tied somebody, right? No, they won already. Jeez. Um, yeah. Everyone's gonna roast me now. Okay, cool. Um, I think that. Shit, I didn't check to see how good um, Atlanta was. Sorry, guys. I got a rest of the day. Brian, what are you doing? Um. Atlanta 
is one and four. Arizona is one three and one. I think Matt Ryan is gonna go off. I think it's gonna be a good game for both quarterbacks between Kyle Murray and Matt Ryan. But I think that Kyle Murray is gonna take this one for Arizona on four or five. Tennessee and Denver. Joe Flacco against Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota is over. He's overrated. Honestly, he's freaky garbage. I have him on my fantasy team. I don't really like him that much. I got to. I got to move this shit. I would. Uh, I wish I had something to put my phone up against, but I don't. Um. If I if this was an actual podcast, this thing would probably be like a half an hour or something like that. The last one, if you guys didn't check it out, it was an hour and seventy minutes. I had two special guests. I had Jared Perez and Nick Shami on the show, but um, this time I want to I want to put it on YouTube so that way everybody can uh, check it out. I don't know what I'm gonna name this. I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna name this Sunday Predictions, maybe Sunday Sunday Podcast Sunday Predict. I don't fucking know. One of those things. Sunday Podcast Sunday Prediction. I don't fucking know. One of those things. Um. Joe Flacco and Emmanuel Sanders. I'm going, honestly, actually, yeah, I'm going to go Tennessee. Tennessee. Um, Dallas and Dallas and New York. The Jets against the Cowgirls. You guys know I am a Giants fan through thick and thin. I cannot stand the Cowgirls. And honestly, through... Uh, Still going through the New York rivalry between the Giants and the Jets. I don't really have that have that much of a problem with the Jets. To be honest with you. Um, Sam Darnold is coming back from Mono to face the Dallas Cowgirls. Um, I have to take the Jets. I can't. I can't take Dallas. I can't do it. I I can't do it. Fuck the I fuck the Cowgirls. I hate them so much. I can't do it. Donald and Bell, Le'Veon Bell, you better go off tomorrow night or t- tomorrow. I swear to God, I'm counting on you guys. I'm counting on you, dude. You better not lose this game. Um, Monday Night Football, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the LA Chargers. I'm going Chargers because the Steelers still have Mason Rudolph. They still have James Conner. They still have Juju. Juju just had an injury. Juju was a, uh, he wasn't even playing a hundred percent last week. I don't even know how good he was last week, to be honest. Um, I haven't checked my phone. I haven't checked my phone in a long in, in a while. I just got home from uh from Oneana last night, so now I'm home for until either Monday night or Tuesday. So if I don't have my, so if I don't have the podcast up on Tuesday. Um, you'll know why. I'm just saying this now, so that, that way people don't get pissed off at me for not posting it. But uh, I'm home now, so uh, yeah, I'm home. I'm home now. I'm going to LA over Pittsburgh, and um, Monday Monday Night Football, Detroit and Green Bay. Detroit and Green Bay is always a good game, to be honest. Um, those games are always cool. Well, what are the standings? I, I have to check the standings, dude. Um, I never know. I mean, I don't, I don't keep up with them all the time. Uh, the Packers are four and one. The Lions are two one and one because the Lions tied the the, the the Cardinals. Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with um. I'm going with the Packers on this one. I'm going with the Packers. Um, Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, um, Matt Matt Stafford, Marcus Jones. So Marcus Jones Jr. He's on Baltimore. Never mind. Uh, Marvin Jones Jr. I'm going Packers. Yeah, I'm going Packers. Um, I'm gonna tell. Uh, that's that concludes the sports thing with the podcast. Now I'm just gonna go on a side note. You guys know what I did today? I'm gonna tell you guys what I did today. I went to um Cambridge, New York. It's over by uh Troy. 
And for all my upstate people, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I went to this place called Bailey's Family Christmas Trees. We went and we tagged the tree. You can try you can tag it. They're open Saturday and Sunday, twelve to three. And you can tag your Christmas tree. You only car it, it's only twenty dollars extra. We do it every year. We've been doing it for the last three years. We get to the same place. We used to go to this place in Vermont, but then they stopped. Ta- they stopped letting people tag trees, and then, and then we went one time, and um, we went one time, and um, we went one time, and they didn't have the tree. Like they like they were they didn't have trees anymore. They like they ran out. So we finally were like, "What do we do? What do we do? What do we do?" And we found this place. We found a. Uh, we found Bailey's family farm, the family uh, Christmas tree place, and we just went there. We've been going there ever since. They literally had the best trees in, around, and we uh we tagged the tree today. It was actually pretty cool. If you guys like this uh this podcast episode, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on the bell so you don't miss an upload. Um, we're at 68 subs. I I thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. 32 away from triple digits. Um, yeah. Um, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Stay lit, fam. Peace.